Hello, my name is Wienke Giesemann, CEO and co-founder of the Things Industries. And I'm going to tell you about Internet of Things in the facility management sector. I'm going to tell you a few examples, a few use cases, how LoRaWAN is used in this segment. So let's start with, for instance, here. This is what we're doing together with VicoT and some other sensor makers. And what's happening here is that the audio and the vibrations of these sensors are being recorded, measured, analyzed, and based on the data, predictive maintenance is planned to uh, prevent future out outage. Axions is using it on industrial sites, making sure that health for, uh, workers, health of the workers is guaranteed, for instance, through fall, det fall detection, but also um, the installations uh, are monitored in temperature, vibration, etc., etc., also for safety and preventive maintenance. Uh, so Dexo is using these sensors into uh, uh, all kinds of uh, processes in their facility management uh, operations. For instance, here is they uh, use temperature sensors to make sure that fridges work properly to assure food safety. Another customer of ours, they are into the art business and what they do, they have very specific sensors that measure all kinds of conditions around how uh, valuable art is preserved in uh, museums. Uh, based on that, they can give alerts or give all kinds of additional warnings if, for instance, the temperature or humidity gets into uh, critical ranges, uh, potentially damaging these art pieces. Um, another customer uh, that's into security products uh, 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 called InView, uh, they use LoRaWAN to have a better experience in retail uh, 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 with uh, product displays, yet uh, making sure that uh, 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 there is a good uh, theft pre prevention system in place. Safe House is using LoRaWAN in elderly care. In a, in a very private, aware, non-intrusive way, they make sure that they can track all kinds of data to make sure that the health uh, of the uh, inhabitants of the, uh, in the elder, elder, elderly care places is being guaranteed. We work the co-working space company is using uh, the uh, movement sensors uh, and occupancy sensors in meeting rooms, uh, making sure they have a very good view of how much meeting rooms are being used. And also, they're now using it for airflow and CO2 monitoring to make sure that they, um, uh, 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 they, they can guarantee that the places are ventilated properly. Spacewell is a company that's automating entire buildings and, um, uh, and Jills is here to uh, tell a bit more about what they do. Hi, I'm Jill. I'm a solution expert at Spacewell. We are a technology company that combines software with sensors to turn corporate buildings in more convenient workplaces that promote well-being and productivity. We have deployed more than 30,000 sensors in more than 100 buildings around the world. Combined with our software, our clients can now monitor and manage their space. The sensors capture data on space and air quality, which is then shown on live floor plans and dashboards across multiple touch points. Employees can use the floor plan information in real time, while the building manager gets a detailed picture of the building throughout the day. The combination of real-time and historical data provides the objective insight that is needed to identify wasted space and improve efficiency. To manage this data, we used the Things Network. Our collaboration with them was important as they provided support on many levels and showed great flexibility, patience, and the platform is just easy to use. Recently, PostNord used this information to end part of a lease of their headquarters in a high rent market, resulting in huge savings. At the same time, they were able to identify where to optimize the space and where they can transfer new people based on availability. They can now also apply their learnings to optimize the space in other buildings. Another example is a multi-tenant building called The Beacon. Many talents from different technology companies come together there every day.
And they recently wanted to reopen the office and bring people back to a safe working environment. To this end, we have deployed sensors in meeting rooms, workplaces, and even the cafeteria. They provide real-time information on the exact utilization and the air quality of every individual space. Using large kiosks and mobile apps, the people are constantly informed on the availability and they can avoid spaces that are too crowded or with poor air quality. At the same time, the building manager knows where to intervene and where to plan incentives based on natural behavior. All this together ensured the beacon that they can receive people again in a safer way. Very interesting. So, um, what you see in, in this segment uh, in uh, smart facilities is that there's many ways how you can use LoRaWAN. There's many ways how you can use Internet of Things for increased safety, uh, reduced risk, increased profit, uh, and much, much more. If you want to know more around smart facilities and how we help our customers and partners to uh, apply Internet of Things in this industry, um, let us know and go to the thingsindustries.com. <laughs> <laughs>